With the help of major media outlets, the participation in these programs is becoming more widespread. Returning to the Wall Street Journal's editor, Robert Bartley, we see that he later threw his newspaper support behind U.S. entry into NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement that has cost so many Americans their jobs. But he went further than backing NAFTA when he wrote in July 2001, Mexican President Vicente Fox suggests that NAFTA should evolve into something like the European Union with open borders. He can rest assured that there is one voice north of the Rio Grande that supports his vision, to wit, this newspaper. As far back as 2001, the neoconservative editor of the Wall Street Journal prominently expressed support for doing away with our nation's borders. He wanted to solve the immigration problem by abolishing the border with Mexico. He also wanted to have the United States, Canada, and Mexico give up their sovereignty to a North American Union, a step similar to what has occurred with nations in Europe. Here we have our favorite globalist of the day, Vicente Fox, the one who in 2001 wanted in a decade or two the borderless North American Union, acting really presidential there with his middle finger up and talking about not paying for that fucking wall. Use that word. Use the full word. Because that's presidential, unlike Donald Trump. But do you notice they keep talking about these proposals could lead to war? Sovereignty apparently leads to war when citizens want to keep their nation sovereign. Same thing that's going on over, you know, here in the UK. Brexit could trigger World War III, warns David Cameron. How dare you people want your own country and your own borders and your own laws? We need to remember. America's policy should be what our forefathers originally intended. It is really quite simple. As stated in the Declaration of Independence, our rights come from our Creator, and the role of government is to safeguard those rights. Our Constitution was created to limit government power so that Americans could have commerce with all and entanglements with none. This is all just to scare everybody, scare people here in America, scare those of you in Great Britain. These are globalists. It's going to prompt a house price crash and stock market crash. Globalists warns voters it will increase cost of bills. Look at the He's a globalist. This sounds like the same thing they were saying to those in Iceland when in 2008 they said, screw you to the globalists and the bankers. I mean, they're not perfect, but they put bankers in jail and bailed out the homeowners and the people. They're globalists and they want to scare you. That's just the truth. They have their own agenda. Open your eyes and find out what it is for yourself. Because they don't want truth. Globalists, they want their agenda.